In a summer heat wave, London lurches from crisis to crisis, and Britain is a country on edge. The Prime Minister is fighting for her job after a disappointing election result, made worse by her response to the Grenfell Tower disaster, widely judged inadequate. The government, in no position to offer reassurance, can't even agree on its own negotiating strategy as Brexit talks begin in Brussels this week. And violence perpetrated again and again, from Westminster Bridge to Manchester Arena, targeting young concert goers, late night diners, tourists, police. And now, after prayers outside a mosque, Muslims as well. Has life changed? Well, there are newly installed protective barriers on London's bridges. This is the spot where, in March, a car mounted the pavement on Westminster Bridge, mowing down pedestrians. There are more armed police around. Communities are under strain. But consistently, the message that seems to emerge loudest after each of these incidents is of unity. This attack behind me on Seven Sisters, the attack in Manchester, the attack on London Bridge, the attack on Westminster Bridge, are all an attack on our shared values, our shared values of tolerance and freedom and respect. Today we come together as we have done before, to condemn this act and to state once again that hatred and evil of this kind will never succeed. Brendan Cox lost his wife, the MP Joe Cox, at the hands of a far-right gunman last year. I think we need to worry about the fact that extremists are more vocal, more violent than they have been in the past. I think we need to worry about the fact we live in an increasingly unequal country and we need to worry that our communities are less close than they used to be. But can we do something about all of those? Yes, yes we can. The vast majority of people, whether you're from the Muslim community or the non-Muslim community, will never come across a, a terrorist or an extremist in their lifetime, but we will come across hate. And one of the things that I think we can all do is take on that hatred, whether that is anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism, homophobia. We can all drain that swamp in which extremism breathes. Lenin said there are decades where nothing happens and weeks where decades happen. Well, those weeks are happening now in a country unsettled, if not, in fact, divided. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.